Hello, Patrick Walchuk here. It's June 2024 and we're going to be doing a financial analysis on a couple of buildings. The building we'll start with is a triplex, a three unit building, and we'll go through the numbers and break down what those numbers meant. So this particular property was in the east end of Ottawa. It was listed for $1,038,000 and it sold for $975,000. <clears> the scheduled rental income on it was call it $62,000. The effective rental income, that's when we deduct 3% for vacancy and bad debt, was $60,000. The stated operating expenses were 17,000. The total operating expenses, uh, management and maintenance are added into that, uh, is a little over $23,000. So that gives us an NOI of almost $37,000. So knowing those things, we can now calculate a cap rate and the cap is 3.77, kind of average. So the operating expense ratios were about 39%. That's not bad, it's you know kind of right in the middle, uh, maybe a tad higher than, than what you would want, but not too bad. Uh, it sold for 16 times the gross income, 27 times the net, and <clears throat> this is, in terms of the down payment that's required in order for this property to break even or have a small positive cash flow, uh, the buyer would have needed a 46% 40, down payment. And this is sort of closer to what we've been seeing in the past couple of years where you know you needed basically a 50% down payment. So I don't like it when it's that high, but anyhow, it is what it is. So this down payment equated to about $449,000. And <clears throat> what that resulted in is that you had an annual debt service on that uh, um, mortgage of $36,000 and what that did is it left you with a small positive cash flow of $376,000 and the ROI is negligible at 0 0.08 but anyhow the key thing here is the down payment. If you have any questions don't hesitate to give me a call. Thank you.